Hello everyone. It is a Kitsun base. This course is Toyota Production System Basic Course Intermediate Class, Chapter 1. What is Standard Operation? It is said that there is no improvement or there is no standard. In this course, you will learn what is standard work is. In Chapter 1, Definition and Purpose of Standard Operation, what are the three elements of standard operation? Type time, work procedure, standard in process stock, difference between standard operation and working standard. Chapter 1 Summary The first part is definition and purpose of standard operation. Standard operation is the working method to Think most efficient combination of Movement of human Work And machine to produce By combining those three, we can produce Good product Faster Safer And without waste The purpose of building standard operation and its application is roughly divided into two. The first is clarification of rules for making product. The existence of standard operation minimizes waste that can occur due to variations of working methods and management methods, such as making goods differs depending on people etc. This contribute efficiency improvement. The second is to use as a tool for Kaizen. It can be used as a tool for improvement such as finding waste, uneven, overburden, or distinguishing between normal and abnormal. As it says, there is no improvement in the place where there is no standard operation, it becomes a judgment standard what is the problem. Next, we will explain, what are the three elements of standard operation. The three elements of standard operation are Tech time Work procedure Standard in process stock Those three are standard operation Unless all three elements are in place, even though work procedure is existing, it cannot be called as standard operation, let's check the outline of each element. The first element is tag time. Tag time refers to the time that needs to make a product or part expressed in seconds in daily production. It is important as an improvement approach to make one cycle time closer to the tag time. The formula of tag time is Operating time slash required quantity. The tag time should be calculated without margin of work ratio. Now let's calculate the tag time using the example. As a prerequisite of calculation, operation time of one day is 480 minutes, the required quantity is 1000 pieces. Then, please calculate in 10 seconds. The correct answer is like this. In this example, the tag time is approximately 28.8 seconds, and it is necessary to make one at this time. In reality, since extra work such as incidental work may occur, the actual cycle time must be set shorter. However, it is important to improve incidental work etc. to make it closer to the tag time. The second of the elements is the work procedure. The procedure for workers to carry out transporting things, attaching and detaching them to machine, processing and assembly etc. in most efficient manner. The work procedure is the most efficient work order at present. As shown in this image, it is important that the procedure is established like 1, 2, 3, so that everyone can do the same work. The third of the elements is standard in process stock. The minimum stock on hand, stock in process, to enable to repeat work in the same procedure. It is important to set the quantity that cannot be more or less than this. 
The standard and process stock is determined in consideration of the layout and work procedure. If you reach the standard in process stock, it is essential to stop the work. You should never produce more than standard in process stock, even though waste of weight may occur. By setting standard in process stock poorly, the waste of making too much will be ceased and loss of work can be detected at glance. If you will make more than standard in process stock to hide the weight, the problem will be hidden and the improvement will be delayed, so you should never do it. The above is the three elements of standard operation, and it is the basis for developing standard operation. Make sure to remember them. Then, it is about the difference between standard operation and working standard. People are often confused, but standard operation and working standards are different. Standard operation is work that satisfies the three elements of tag time, work procedure, and standard and process stock as learned in this lecture. As a rule, supervisors themselves created and instruct workers to follow them. On the other hand, working standard refers to the conditions for performing standard operation. Economic conditions for performing work are determined as a standard. For example, cutting speed, feed, type and shape of tool, type of cutting oil, etc. Standard operation is the standardized method to operate. Working standard is standard condition for working. Finally, let's summarize the first chapter. Question 1. Why is standard operation necessary? It is necessary to clarify the rule of how to make things and to use it as a tool for improvement. Question 2. What are the three elements of standard operation? Tech time, work procedure, standard in process stock. Those that do not have these three elements cannot be called standard operation. Question 3. What is the difference between standard operation and working standard? The difference between standardized operation and standard condition for working. The difference is between pointing the operation itself and conditions for the working. This concludes the Toyota Production System Basic Course Intermediate Class, Chapter 1, What is Standard Operation Lecture? Continue to learn Chapter 2, The Difference Between Work and Movement. We sincerely hope that this course will help you in your future activities. See you in the next lecture.